Saudi Arabia just announced their plans for eight entirely new mega projects in Neom. Leja, Epicon, Sirana, Utamo, Norlana, Aquellum, Zardun, and Zaynor. Together, these will form the Gulf of Aqaba, which is supposed to be a new region within Neom that offers a wide range of luxury tourism, entertainment, and nature destinations. Their announcements come almost exactly a year after the last region in Neom, Sindala, was unveiled to the public. And compared to the line and the other projects we've already seen, these new developments seem to be much smaller in scale. So are these new projects more realistic? And how exactly will they fit into the rest of Neom and Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030? Let's take a closer look into the recent updates with Neom. Before we dive deeper, we have a pretty big announcement. We want to share with you guys that we are going to be changing the name of our channel. Top Luxury has been with us for almost four years. It's still crazy to me to even say that. And we're so grateful to you all for this incredible journey. But moving forward, we've actually been thinking about a name that more accurately describes what we actually talk about on our channel. Insane mega projects from all around the world. That's why we are going to be changing the name of our channel to Mega Builds. We plan on updating it in about two weeks, so don't be surprised if you see our logo next to the name Mega Builds pretty soon. Now, let's start with Leja, the first of Neom's eight new projects. First announced back in October of last year, Leja is a high-end luxury tourist destination located in a mountainous region along the coastline of the Gulf of Aqaba. It's also in close proximity to other notable Neom regions, such as the Line and Trojina, both of which are roughly 50 kilometers to the south and east, respectively. This new region is supposed to feature three luxury boutique hotels, each with their own unique theme and offered experiences. They'll all be situated within an extremely narrow and winding valley, surrounded by 400 meter tall mountains on both sides. Going further inland, the first hotel along the path will be the Adventure Hotel, a structure that quite literally snakes around and traces the surrounding mountains. Its focus will primarily be around outdoor activities, such as rock climbing, mountain biking, and horseback riding. Makes sense based on the name. It's even been reported that guests will be able to hike all the way to Trojina, Neom's outdoor skiing destination, through a 70-kilometer trail going eastwards. Continuing through the winding valley, the second hotel is called the Oasis, a geometric structure that looks like it was carved straight from the mountain itself. Finally, the third hotel in Leja is the Wellness Hotel. Looking a bit like a miniature version of the line, the pools on top definitely look quite nice. What's common among these three hotels is that they all try to blend seamlessly with the surrounding landscape. The Adventure Hotel snakes around the mountains, Oasis is seamlessly carved from the rocks, and the Wellness Hotel is like an open gate in the middle of the valley. And according to Leja's developers, these are all attempts to preserve the natural features of the area, a harmonious balance between nature and architecture. Well, at least that's the idea. However, construction in this environment will actually be pretty difficult, and also getting all that equipment and materials to these places is not going to be an easy task. As it stands today, Leja is planned to open sometime in 2028, and will be operated by an international hospitality management group known as Our Habitas. As much as 400 million US dollars have already been invested in the project by the Saudi government. Before we dive deeper into Neom and whether these additions can actually be successful, we move over 30 kilometers to the north. This is Epicon. Unveiled to the public exactly one month after Leja, this region features possibly the most sci-fi looking structure Neom has to offer. In my opinion, it looks more otherworldly than even the Line or the Oxagon. And that alone says a lot about the vision behind Epicon. At the center of this new project will rise a pair of futuristic jagged steel towers that extend 225 and 275 meters above the ground. This structure will be the Epicon Hotel, a luxury five-star hotel that its architects describe as a shining mirage in the middle of the desert. But is it something that could actually be built, or is it yet another mega project that will stay in the conceptual stage? Looking at the current renders, there will be multiple massive cantilevers that stick out a considerable distance away from the main towers, almost like they're defying gravity. But in reality, these parts of the structure would sway a lot, as there'll be almost nothing that supports their weight. 
While cantilevers between two towers like this one can be supported, it seems like these very long cantilevers going away from the main core will not be very stable. Heading just a little over to the coast, there will also be a similarly styled property known as the Epicon Resort. It will have its own exclusive beach club, along with 45 luxury residences. What's interesting is that the surrounding landscape isn't used at all. Usually, skyscrapers are built because of lack of space and high demand, but that obviously isn't the case here. So it's literally two skyscrapers in the middle of nowhere, which, to be honest, looks pretty iconic, but of course isn't necessary at all. What's even more strange is that they market this region not just as a tourist destination, but also as a possible long-term residence. Though it's quite difficult to think that people would actually want to move to a place with nothing but a hotel and a resort. Vacation, sure, sounds fun, but to live there? I don't know. So far, there isn't much to do here. And even if it's just an early concept, there hasn't been any mention of a plan to build a district or anything really around it, nor for any of the other new regions in Neom. So what do you think? Can these projects attract people if there's almost no infrastructure nearby? Only time will tell. Next up, we take a 25-minute drive south from Epicon. That's where Serana is located. The project was revealed just two weeks after Epicon's announcement. Similar to Leja, Serana will feature a high-end hotel that'll be completely surrounded by mountains on all sides. The key design feature are these hexagonal columns that blend in with the surrounding landscape. Some notable amenities include a beach club, wellness facilities, and even exclusive residences. So far, these new projects have addressed a fairly similar target audience, so it remains to be seen whether it makes sense to build them all at the same time, or whether the projects will be built according to demand. However, this doesn't seem to have been a decisive factor. For example, for the line, the foundations are currently being dug out directly for the entire length of the project. The next project is quite different. This is Utamo. Only five kilometers to the north of Leja, this region will be Neom's entertainment destination. According to its creators, the most interesting thing about this region will actually be the experience of entering the venue itself. Once guests arrive from the coast, they'll be greeted with a long and winding pathway that's been meticulously landscaped with more than 50 species of local plants and flowers. At the end of this path will be an imposing 64 meter tall door to the actual venue itself. Seems to be quite a long walk to get up there. Once you enter the venue, you can experience a variety of events such as concerts, art exhibitions, and theatrical plays. Though the details are still unclear, they say that the venue will also be home to advanced audio-visual systems that will enhance the viewing experience. In total, the event space will be able to seat as many as 2,600 people at a time. Given that Utamo is in a relatively isolated area, filling this small seating capacity could actually be quite a difficult task. So how does Neom intend to fill this place? Since Leja, Serana, and Epicon are in the region, and the line is only about an hour away, it very much depends on whether the whole Neom concept works. And that'll probably become clear as soon as the first locations open. For example, Sindala is actually expected to welcome its first tourists this year, so we won't have to wait for very long to find out. Speaking of other regions, this is an entire coastal community called Norlana. It was announced fairly recently, and the location hasn't even been revealed yet but it will be built somewhere along the coast by the Gulf of Aqaba. And judging from the landscape shown in the reveal trailers, it's likely going to be around in the same area as the previous ones. What separates Norlana from the others is that its purpose is actually to become a proper town of its own. The estimated capacity is around 3,000 residents spread across 700 residential properties. One major part of Norlana will be its 120 berth marina that will serve as the focal point of the community. Around it, there will also be an 18-hole golf course, an equestrian and polo club, and spaces for various other water sports. But all this begs the question of who would actually want to move to Norlana. Given its host of yachting and water-related amenities, it seems like this resort is catered only towards the wealthy elite the kind of people who would actually have the yachts to park in the marina in the first place. And when they do buy some of the properties here, they'll likely only use it as a temporary destination. So this place also seems to be a little bit more like a vacation resort than a permanent living facility. Next up is something quite unique. This is a quellum, or in the words of its developers, an upside-down skyscraper. Though the upside-down part is probably not exactly what you think it is when you hear that. 
Instead of literally being built from the top rather than on the ground, a quellum will actually be created inside of a mountain. The central area of this skyscraper will be a 100 meter tall void that stretches from the water below up towards the structure's roof, which is actually the only visible part from the outside. But what exactly is this skyscraper supposed to be? Judging from their press release, Aquellum seems to be a mishmash of everything in Neom, all packed into one huge building, with luxury hotels and apartments, high-end shops and restaurants, an entertainment and immersive arts venue, futuristic-looking interiors, and even something they're calling the world's first floating marina. And to top it all off, they're building all of these inside of a literal mountain. We're not quite sure why they're going through all the trouble of doing it like this, Having to excavate millions upon millions of cubic meters of space to make way for a giant skyscraper that could have just been built on the ground. But looking at it from a marketing perspective, there seems to be a method to the madness. The entire point of a quellum, and honestly this can be applied to the whole of Neom as well, is to be something unique and intriguing enough to gain worldwide attention. They probably spend a lot of money creating these promotional videos and renders, there's also a very good reason for that. Neom is a part of Saudi Arabia's Saudi Vision 2030, a comprehensive plan by the government to diversify their economy away from oil. And to make all of these mega projects successful, they have to get the attention of the rest of the world. And what better way to do that than to showcase Neom as the biggest, most ambitious, and frankly most insane megacity that the world has ever seen. Though it's questionable at best whether they can realize it in the way that it's presented. In the middle of our research, Saudi Arabia actually announced two more entirely new projects for Neon, so we had to scramble to get the script ready for this video. The first one is Zardun, an exclusive sanctuary resort by the Gulf of Aqaba, with three unique luxury boutique hotels. And if you think that description sounds an awful lot like Leja, well, you're technically not wrong. Zardun is basically Leja, but instead of being located deep within the mountains, it'll be located within a protected wildlife sanctuary. Its three hotels are called the Tower, Wedge, and Nature Hotels. Zardun's main focus will be on wildlife conservation and the reintroduction of native species like the Nubian Ibex, Arabian Oryx, and Western Osprey, which have all long been displaced away from the region. And last but not least, they introduced Zaynor as an exclusive beachfront private members club. It'll be built on top of a natural oasis over on the Gulf of Aqaba coast. Compared to all the other projects in Neom, this one's surprisingly small, both in scale and ambition. The centerpiece of this region will be the beach club itself, a structure that's designed to naturally blend with the environment. On the other side, by the coast, there will be various pools, lounges, restaurants, and a spa and wellness center. With the addition of these new major developments, we're now starting to get a clearer picture of the full intended vision for Neom. But with Neom still relatively early in its development, it's highly likely that we still haven't seen the full picture. And who knows? Maybe they've already announced a new region by the time you've watched this video. If they have, let us know. So what do you think of these new additions to Neom? Do you think there'll be enough demand for all these different places? Let us know down below. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be very happy as always if you would subscribe. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.